What's going on everyone? So today we are looking at lead code number 189. It is a question called rotate array. And so here we're given an array and we want to rotate the array to the right by k steps where k is non-negative. So here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. k is 3. We're going to shift everything over to the right and we get 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4. Sample 2, we have minus 1, minus 100, 3, and 99. <clears throat> we shift the array twice, two spaces, and we have 3 and 99 in the front. Okay, so there's there's uh, two ways to kind of do this. There is a, a trick to doing this question, and there is a brute force way of doing this that's a little more intuitive. So we could do a brute force approach at this, just create two for loops, right? And go ahead and push in the five, six, seven, and then concatenate the one, two, three, four, and make sure we keep track of it, that, that it is the correct array, and then go ahead and return that. You could do it that way. It is a little more complicated, and you do uh, the performance is not as well. A much better way of doing this is let's say we took this array and we res we reversed it, okay? So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We could have seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right. And now we find the kth index of this reversed array. So here we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We're going to move, we're going to move this k three spaces. So k is going to come here. 1, 2, and 3. k is going to be here at, uh, at this 3. Sorry, k is going to be here at this 4. It's going to be on the third index. We're going to go 0 to 1, 1 to 2. 2 to 3. Okay, so now that we have k in the correct position, let me clear this out here. Okay, so now that we have k in the correct position, what do we want to do? We want to take the element right before k, which is k minus 1, right over here, and we want to reverse everything on this side of the array and reverse everything on this side of the array. Okay, so what's that gonna give us? That's gonna give us five, six, seven. And then if we reverse this part of the array, we're gonna get one, two, three, and four. Okay, so we could do this in, uh, in place. We just need to reverse the array up front and then we need to go inside of the array and reverse the subarrays. And so what is our time and space complexity taking this approach? Well, we are scanning through the array once to reverse it, and then we're going to have to do two reversals that will definitely be under n, which n is the length of the array. And so we're going to have 3n, and that's going to uh, abbreviate out to O of n on time. Okay, space complexity, we're not creating any new space relative to the size of the input, so our space complexity here is going to be constant space. Okay, which is pretty good, which is pretty good indeed. So let's go ahead and jump into the code. So what we're going to do here is first we want to mod k because if k is larger than the length of nums then it's going to keep on cycling so we want to just go ahead and say k is going to equal k mod uh, nums.length and now what do we want to do well we want to reverse the input array so nums.reverse that go ahead, that goes ahead, goes ahead and reverses the input array in place. And then we can create a helper function and we can say um, reverse nums. Okay, and that's going to take in the nums array, a start, which is going to be zero, and k minus one. 
Okay, that's going to be our end index. We're going to do a second helper function, rev nums, when we're going to take in nums, and we're going to start at k and go to the end. Okay, and so that's all we have to do for our main function. Now we just have to write this helper function. So here we're going to have const rev nums. That's going to take in our nums array, a start, and an end. Okay, and so now all we have to do is we have to say while start is less than end, what do we want to do? We just want to swap the values, okay, and reverse it. So we can say nums at start, nums at end. It's going to equal nums at end and nums at start. Okay, and now what we're going to do is just increment start and decrement end. Okay, and so that's all we have to do for this. So let's go ahead and run this. And we're good. Okay, so not too bad. Uh, I would highly suggest try to approach this, this trick to it um, and just be familiar with it. Uh, it's, it's a great way to kind of solve this problem quickly and elegantly. Uh, and you can do the brute force away, uh, brute force way, but there's a lot of bugs that can that you can uh, run into going that approach. Okay, so that is lead code number one eight nine, rotate array. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you all on the next one.